Hello. It's good to see you. I'm sorry it took me so long to get to this. Uh, we, today we are going to be trying some uh, different types of uh, sweets and snacks that were sent to me from an awesome lady in Scotland. Now some of these I have heard of, and but most of them I have not. I have not tried them. So um, today we're going to look at them and we're going to try them out. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot here. I actually had to skip a meal to do this <laughs> because I thought even if I just taste a little bit of each one, I'm not going to be able to do that after having a meal. So <laughs> this is a meal. Don't, don't tell Harvest because she'll probably die or something. Okay. I don't really know the best order to start this in. Um, I'm kind of thinking I might want to start with something like this and I'll show you what it is. This is, um, these are Walker's Mini Scotty Dogs. So what I've done with all these packages, I've kind of opened them up a little bit so I can get to them easier without sitting here struggling trying to open the packages. So let's see. I have never tried these. I love shortbread, though. Oh, my goodness. I got it by the head. Look, it's a tiny Scotty dog. <laughs> that's, that's about the most Scottish thing I've ever seen food-wise. That's cute. Pure bread, butter, shortbread, mini Scotty dogs. I just bit his back end off. They're good. Mmm. That tastes like Christmas time. <laughs> it tastes just like Christmas. Really, the only time I ever eat shortbread is at Christmas time. And where I work, um, we have this one really big. German client and they always send us this giant basket of goodies every year around Christmas and they always have shortbread of some sort in there and um, so that's about the only time I ever have shortbread but that's very good very good not too sweet not 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 too much that's very nice those are good um, the next thing I have is this these are revels Looks like um, chocolate. I don't know if it's just chocolate. I think it's chocolate and then something in it. I'm not really sure. I'm going to try one of these. Oh, it's um, like a little disc. <laughs> it's cute. It kind of reminds me of um, Milk Duds that we have here. It doesn't taste like Milk Duds. It's really good though. I think it's just chocolate. Now again, I may not pronounce everything right. I may not describe it the way that suits you. But I was thinking about this this morning. Ooh, this is a round one. I want to see if it's different. We're all kind of weird when it comes to sweets. I've noticed that. And snacks and sweets, everybody gets a little weird about it. Oh, there's something in that one. Oops. Now it's on the table. It was um, an orange flavor, so I guess these are all different. It doesn't say. I guess you're supposed to just know. Well, now I want to try another one and see if they're... What it tastes like. Oop. Dang it. I've, this has been one of those days where I really should have just stayed in the bed. Everything I've tried to do today has not worked well. No, it's a multi milk ball. What in the world? This seems to play mind games with me. I mean, it's good. I guess it's just a nice combination of stuff. And whatever that one is I dropped on the floor. I'm going to try one more. Let's see if I can find one. Ooh, that one's lumpy. Look at that one. It's like a giant chocolate kidney bean or something. Oh, it's a... I don't know what it is. It's, I don't know what's in that one. Something chewy. It might be a raisin. I think it's a raisin. I hope it's a raisin. 
Maybe I better not wonder too much. Okay. The chocolate's really good. I like that. But we're all weird about snacks and the way you should eat certain snacks and sweets. So if I consume this in a way that is not pleasing to you, I apologize. Um, I'm the same way. Like if somebody here took a Kit Kat, you know, you have the little four things together. If somebody took that out of the package and then just took a big bite out of it, I would probably cringe because that was just, you don't eat them that way. You break them apart and eat them one piece at a time. So we're all kind of weird about it. So I apologize if I don't eat it right. You know, we're from the South. We don't know anything anyway. That's what everybody says. We're all stupid anyhow. Galaxy Minstrels. Minstrels. Somebody got all Beavis and Butthead about the name of that. Minstrel. Look it up. It's an actual word. And somebody also said that Galaxy, uh, the company that makes Galaxy, is the same company that makes Dove Chocolate here in the United States. Which is, is pretty good. Let's see. Again, we have a little disc. This, this chocolate looks darker than the uh, the Rebels. It's got a candy coating on it. it looks like a giant M&M. &M. And the inside is just chocolate. Hmm. It tastes like the Cadbury mini eggs that we have here at Easter. And only Easter. You can't find them the rest of the year. Are they all the same? I think they're all the same. It's like a it's like a giant M&M. &M. <laughs> hmm. It's good. It tastes a lot like Dove chocolate. But it tastes more like the Cadbury mini eggs chocolate. Oh, we got a long way to go. There's a lot here. I need to pace myself. Now these are, and I know I'll pronounce it wrong, so I'm not just, I'm not even gonna try digestives. And I did ask in a comment section, what, why are they called digestives? And I did get an answer, so you don't have to answer me. They're nibbles with caramel, milk chocolate, milk chocolate coated biscuit balls with caramel flavor cream. Hmm. How big are they? Not too big, like that. Ooh, that's soft. It's a very soft cookie. That's pleasant. That's really smooth. That's nice. Those are good. I'm glad they don't sell these here because I imagine they're addictive. That's, um, those are good. They're, I don't know what it is about them. This has this really nice smooth taste. I like those. Those are good. The the cookie or the biscuit inside is nice and it's not too firm, you know? It's good. Um, before I get into any more chocolate, because I have a lot more, I want to try something different. Um, I want to try this. And unfortunately, it got squished. It's a Tunnix Snowball. Now it's a snow pancake. <laughs> Um, although somebody did comment and say that they always smash it before they eat it. So I'm going to try that. Now this is the one thing I did not open. Um, I wanted to wait until I was ready because I was afraid if I opened it, it would just spill out. So I'm going to, I'm not exactly sure the best way to go about this. It's um, kind of stuck to the inside of the plastic a little bit. Oops. Oh, it's, um, I about need a spoon. Looks like it had a, um, a cream filling. It's kind of hard to say. I need a spoon. <laughs> I don't have a spoon. I'm just going to pick it up. Mmm. I love the coconut taste. That's yummy. 
it tastes like um it tastes like the icing on on one of my coconut cakes i make a um i make this coconut cake and this tastes almost exactly like the icing that i make to put on it mm. that's really good i wish i could have tried it unsquished but it's it's good either way i mean it's it's yeah it's gonna get squished when you eat it anyhow that's very good oh i like that i like coconut stuff and that's nice it's not too sweet it's just sweet enough that's good now we have this is mrs tilly's macaroon if you hear a scratching sound we are having really weird weather today um, the temperatures dropped about 20 degrees since yesterday and there's a lot of wind and the tree guys have not come to, to cut my trees yet so I have a branch that's scraping on my window I'm sorry um, this is Mrs. T Mrs. Tilly's macaroon and it's quite heavy it's um oh that smells good that smells yummy Let's see. I'm gonna just try to peel the plastic back I'm just gonna take a bite Look at that center. <laughs> wow, that's rich. Oh my god, that is so rich. Holy mackerel, that's rich. <laughs> I couldn't eat much of that at a time. Ooh. It's good though. It's very, very good. I have never had anything like this before. Wow. That is incredible. But it's very rich. It's good, but it's rich. Let's see. What should I try now? Let's try some more chocolate. Oh, I have my chocolate orange. Everybody told me to bang it on the floor or a counter or something. Stick her side down, and I have done that. And I can feel the segments in there, so hopefully I broke it up properly. I'm glad y'all told me that because I would not have known to do that. Here we have Cadbury Double Decker. And I've just kind of torn the plastic on a little bit. Is it a whole bar? Or is it two pieces? Or, oh, it's a whole. It's actually a whole thing here. Ooh. It's leaking out on the side. It almost looks like a, a Three Musketeers, but it's sticky. It's like a crunchy Three Musketeers bar. It has crunchy stuff in it. Hmm. That's interesting. That top layer of stuff tastes like a Three Musketeers. And the bottom has this crunchy, like, um... Like stuff that we have in a Nestle's Crunch here. It's, it's good. I've never tried those two combinations to get those two things together. That's pretty good. And now we have Nestle's Toffee Crisp, which I love toffee. Let's see. It's, it's pretty. <laughs> the world hmm. I don't really even taste the toffee in it of course I've, I've eaten so many different things I need I need some sherbet or something to cleanse my palate with after each thing I taste the crisp part And the chocolate. I don't really taste toffee though. It's, it's interesting. It's chewy stuff in there. I like the crunchy part. It doesn't taste like Nestle chocolate here. Not not exactly. Um, 
And then I have the Maltesers Malt Easter. It's uh, I've never seen anything like this. It's a mal malted malt um, Easter bunny. <laughs> And I opened him up and his ears had broken. Like his ears broke off. I didn't do that. Milk chocolate bunny with a crunchy and creamy Malteser center. I was expecting a giant malt, like a big Easter bunny shaped malted milk ball, but that's not what this is. It's some. Um, it reminds me of something. I can't think of what. The chocolate definitely melts quickly. I think I like the Nestle chocolate a little bit better. The chocolate in that tastes tastes different. I don't know if it's because of the malted stuff or what it is, but. You can see that there's definitely some stuff in there. And then I have the Maltesers teasers, which if you stick them out a little bit, it looks like something you'd make a joke about. <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose. It's just sticking out that way. Okay. Look at that. And on the underside, you can see. Now, the underside of that looks like a Nestle Crunch Bar to me. Tastes like a Nestle Crunch. I like this better than the Malt Easter. That's that's really good. I like that. Nice smooth chocolate, <clears throat> and the crunchiness adds a nice little touch to it. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I got a long way to go. <laughs> This is why I didn't I didn't eat earlier. All right, I am definitely not doing my low carb today. This is Wispa Gold. Nice, lovely, shiny, festive packaging there. It's um, this is Cadbury. Yeah, it's Cadbury. Let's see. And we don't have any of this stuff here. Somebody said I should go to World Market. Did you find? different foods there and we do have a world market here um and i have seen some of the different foods in there i've never really tried any of them let's see hmm. there's a layer of caramel and then a layer of something what is that like a fudgy something That's um, kind of like a, I don't want to say fudge, but it's sort of like a fudgy layer under there. You can kind of see that. Hmm. That's a lot of chocolate. That's a very chocolatey flavor. You can kind of taste the caramel at first, but then the chocolate kind of takes over. Okay. This is Ripple. Nice long thing. It's like a giant Kit Kat, uh, Twix thing, but I don't think it's made like a Twix. Oh God, what? <laughs> oh my goodness. It definitely has a bunch of stuff going on in there. It's like catacombs or the Illuminati or something. Oh my god. It's just layers of um the galaxy chocolate. How do they get it to look like that? <laughs> look. Oh, it broke. I shattered it. <laughs> and it's just chocolate. Ooh. Man, that's weird. It just it just splinters all apart like a like a tree or something. I don't know if I could eat a whole one of those. Of course, that's probably because I've been tasting all this stuff. 
All right, this is from Nestle and it's called the Milky Bar. Let's see. Looks like white chocolate. I don't think I've ever tried any white chocolate from Nestle. Somebody asked me if we have white chocolate here. We do. Uh, one of my favorites is um, Hershey's makes this cookies and cream candy bar that's made with white chocolate and little bits of uh, cookie like Oreo cookie stuff. It's really good. Oh, it's a little cowboy man. You can see his head there. This tastes like the Hershey's white chocolate, what we have here. That tastes exactly like Hershey's white chocolate. Which I like. Mm-hmm. That's good. They make Kit Kat with white chocolate, but they're, ugh. I don't like the Kit Kat with white chocolate. <clears throat> okay. Let me try, uh, oh well, this one we've already had. I'm gonna take a bite of it anyway. This is Freddo Caramel, which um, we tried in a different video where somebody sent me some things. And I understand y'all use these to talk about inflation. I still say it looks like Grimace from the old McDonald commercials. <laughs> We just use a gallon of gas. We talk about, we remember when a gallon of gas cost this, or a, a, you could go in a store and get a drink of soda or a pop, depending on where you're from. For I can remember when you could get a bottle of Pepsi. I don't know what size it was, maybe 16 ounces. You could get one of those out of a vending machine for 35 cents. Because I used to do it at a gas station where I grew up. Nice smooth caramel comes out. And it's just perfect with that chocolate. Absolutely perfect with that. That's a good combination of that caramel with the chocolate. Very good. That'd be good with a glass of milk. <clears throat> All right, let's see. We have, let's try something that's not chocolate. Now, somebody warned me about this one. This is a, uh, Wham. <laughs> this is Wham original. And it looks like um, what we call Laffy Taffy here. Looks a lot like Laffy Taffy. Laffy Taffy comes out like that. And they have it in all different flavors. And it's, I anyway, see you can bend it. You have to be careful with it. You know, it doesn't taste like Laffy Taffy though. It has stuff in it. Sour crystals. Okay. It does have a... Okay. I taste it now. There's some sour in there. The flavor is... Um, <clears throat> it's different. I'm not used to that flavor. I think I like Laffy Taffy better though, honestly. Sorry. It's it's not bad. I just like Laffy Taffy a little bit better. Now we're gonna try. Now this I've had before. This we do have here. Let's see if I can get it out of this. This is, uh, and I'll probably say it wrong, Ferrero Rocher. Um, it is a chocolate and hazelnut dream are so good. I'm going to take it out of here and show it to you. Now it's going to look like an asteroid but it tastes better than an asteroid. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And then you just you just bite it. You just you just bite it. And then the inside has this nice um, melty kind of chocolatey fudgy center. And there's a hazelnut in the middle. And, um, mm, very good. I haven't had any of those in a long time. It was nice to, to get those. And then we have, this is a chocolate mellow from, I can't read it. It's a chocolate mellow. 
and that the um, the aluminum foil got squished and the mellow got squished. I'm having trouble reading it. I'm not quite sure how to open it. You can see that the mellow is stuck to the foil. <laughs> I was peeling off onto the, it's really sticking to the foil. I'm gonna need a wet wipe, look at that. Now I do wonder if these taste like, we have something here called mallow cups and um, they're, they look like Reese's cups, but they're not. They have this white, like a funky marshmallow center. So I wonder if it tastes like those. It's coated on the outside with chocolate. Oh, and it has a cookie bottom. I didn't know that. This bottom layer is like a cookie or a biscuit, depending on where you're from. Now, if it was one of my biscuits, that would be weird. The, the white stuff tastes like the inside of a mallow cup, but the chocolate is better. I kind of like the, the cookie stuff on the bottom. That adds an interesting extra little surprise. I didn't expect that. I thought it was just going to be the white marshmallowy stuff and chocolate. Ooh, it's um, it's fluffy. <laughs> it's fluffy. That's that's good. I like it. I really like it with that layer on the bottom. That's interesting. I should do that with mallow cups. I don't think mallow cups have that. But it's been so long since I had one. I may be wrong about that. Oh, before I forget, um, everybody keeps asking me what's up with my neighbor. Well, there were two cars. There were two um, cars over there that were the same. And then they were suddenly both gone and they've been gone for months and now suddenly one of them has returned but it's all bashed in on the side like it got hit by a tank or something it seems to still run i think somebody's driving it but one of them is back one of the cars is back and it is all bashed up i mean just completely like the whole passenger side is just bashed in it's really i would love to know the story behind that but that's all i know at this point nothing else has happened one of the cars returned and that just that that char, that car just showed up again yesterday and it's still over there today i have a feeling they live a very interesting life kinder bueno kinder bueno we have individually wrapped chocolate bars in here that i have attempted to open let's see and it came out in a little piece like that. It looks like um, caramel, maybe, and hazelnut stuff. Oh, wow. Mm. It almost has a crunchiness like a Kit Kat bar. But I almost want to say it's better than a Kit Kat bar. It has this gooey stuff inside of it. It just went everywhere. Wow. Oh, that's really good. That crispy part with the chocolate. That's good. That is really good. Oh my god. Oh, but you see why I can't do this very often? <laughs> I, mean, I wouldn't be able to get through my front door to go anywhere. <laughs> and then we have Galaxy smooth milk which is um from what i was told they make uh dove chocolate here in the united states and the packaging is so similar let's see it looks like it's just chocolate nothing else break a piece off yeah it's just chocolate see it's just solid chocolate smooth milk chocolate mmm Tastes like Dove chocolate. I know people criticize chocolate over here, but this tastes just like Dove chocolate. Mm-hmm. It's very good, very smooth, just like it says. Very nice. Let's see. What have I got? What have I got? 
the Kinder Surprise. We do have Kinder stuff here, but like I said, it's not it's not packaged the same because they have the choking concerns. You know, the kids just I guess they just bite it and end up choking on what's in it. Um, let's see. Oh my cute. It's a little broken there. I'm going to break it some more. I'm just going to open it up. Yeah, and see, and then on the inside is that little thing. Oh, the inside of it looks like white chocolate. That's interesting. I'm going to try it. It's a thin layer. The regular chocolate and the white chocolate are thin. Both thin layers. Good chocolate. Very good. Let's see if I can get our surprise out. <laughs> Little thing here. Let's see if I can open it. What did I get? I got. Oh, I got a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Let me assemble him. Hold on a second. He's he's uh, coming apart here. Uh-oh, I can't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. There. Look, I got a little a little dude and um he has a thing he can hold here in his little turtle hand. I know I'm doing it wrong. I'm making him I'm making him hold it wrong, but see, oops, that's a thing. <laughs> so that's cute. Let's see, it comes in this little plastic thing. I won't eat him. Let's see. I'm saving that orange for last. <laughs> let's try let's try the wine wine gums. Wine gums. These have natural colors. They're from Maynard's Bassets. And I'm just gonna peel it. And it looks like to me it looks like the lifesavers gummies. And it looks like they're different flavors. Is that like white wine or? <laughs> what are really gummy? Tastes like grape juice. It's like chewy grape juice. <laughs> it's really solid, really solid stuff. Quite firm. It's like a jelly bean with an attitude. There's another one in here that looks like a different flavor. I'm going to try it. This must be red wine. So you know it's good. That does not taste like any red wine I have ever tried. Almost tastes like a cough drop. <laughs> like one of those cherry cough drops. I like the red ones better though. They're very, um, and they're quite, they're quite firm. It's like a vitamin gummy. <laughs> Interesting. Now, what else? I will, oh, vanilla fudge. You will have to forgive me. I think I called these caramels uh, in my video. In my defense, we do have caramels here in the United States that look exactly like this. They come in bags and they're individually wrapped and they look exactly like this. So my brain used the availability heuristic and looked at it and said that's a caramel. But it doesn't taste like a caramel. So then my brain is going to short circuit and it'll be really ugly. Actually, it does kind of taste like caramel. <laughs> Maybe because my brain expected it to. It's much softer than caramel. <laughs> See? It's squishy. It tastes like this um, nougat candy that we have here at Christmas time that Brock's baked. I think it's just called Christmas Nougats. It's cream colored. 
It has these different colors of um, something in it. I don't know. But it tastes a lot like that vanilla fudge. And then next we have chocolate caramels. Well, they look beautiful, don't they? They are toffees covered in finest dark chocolate. And in the package, they look like that. It's like a giant Werther's candy. Oh, they're so cute. That's just adorable. Look at that little thing. Like a tiny cake. Oh, it's hard. My God. <laughs> that is some tough. Mm. I'm glad I don't have braces. That is really firm. <laughs> I've had some, I don't want to say a bitterness to it. It's not bitter. It almost has like <coughs> a slight aftertaste of coffee or something. <coughs> so it's toffees. And I guess when I think of toffee, I, I, that's, where it's, that's what's messing me up when I tasted the uh, toffee crisp. That's what threw me off, because when I when when we have toffee here, like the Heath Bar is one of my favorite candy bars, and it's toffee. It's hard. It's not chewy at all. It's hard, and you bite it, and it shatters, kind of like peanut brittle. That's what I was expecting from this. I just expected the toffee in here to be like, you know, hard, not chewy. So that's what was throwing me off with that. Okay, that makes sense now. And then we're going to try this thing here, the uh, Kinder Chocolate. And it looks like, this looks like a little Kit Kat bar, like a, one of the little things that you break off, You're just wrapped separately. Let's see. Oh, that's cute. Look at the hook. <laughs> it comes these little, I guess you just break it or bite it and it has white stuff in there. What is that? Hmm. I don't know. What is that stuff? It tastes like white chocolate. I guess it's the same stuff that's on the inside of the Kinder Surprise. I think it's just white chocolate, basically. <clears throat> That's good though. Very good. I think I could only eat like one of these at a time though because it's really sweet. Really rich. And then we have some more Maltesers. Malted milk balls. Here we have Whoppers. That's really the only brand of malted milk balls I know of here. These are better than Whoppers. Definitely. I mean, I'm not a big um, malted milk ball person. These are better, though, than Whoppers. These are yummy. Mmm. The chocolate is so good. Although, it seems like the chocolate kind of overpowers the malted milk stuff. Like, really, all you taste is chocolate. Or that's how I feel. Of course, I've been eating so much of it that maybe why. <laughs> mm. But I like I like those. I think I especially like the chocolate on those better than Whoppers. And then we have the drumstick mega, which looks like a pack of uh, fruit stripe gum, but it's this big, scary-looking, chewy thing with a stick. You need a stick because it's really intense. I can't even bite it. <laughs> I can't even bite it. Okay, there's no ladylike way to do this. <clears throat> there is no there is no dainty way to eat this, apparently. My god, that's ooh. Lord. <clears throat> it's so chewy. 
You need a spotter to eat one of these things. It tastes familiar, but I can't think of what it tastes like. It tastes like something I've had before, but I don't know what. I have no idea, but it tastes very familiar. Wow. <clears throat> oh my God. That <laughs> I bet dentists love those things. Um, ooh, it's not super sweet. That's nice. Raspberry and milk flavor, chewy lolly. Well, it's definitely chewy. I'll say that for it. Let's try another chewy thing. These are the um, fizzy iron brew bottles. And several people were kind enough to send me on my Facebook page pictures of iron brew. It's like a drink. It looks like a little bottle of Coca-Cola. <laughs> Oh, God, it's sour. Oh, that is really sour. <laughs> My God, that's sour. I don't know what flavor that is. This is going to sound weird. And maybe, maybe there's something wrong with me, but the aftertaste of this... Look, it sits in your mouth for a minute. It tastes exactly like my my sunblock smells. I have a can, a spray can of sunblock downstairs. It smells just like this tastes after a minute. Which is not to say it's bad because it actually the sunblock has a nice, lovely uh, scent. I don't, I don't even know. It's like a, it's not bananas, but it's like some kind of nice non-sunblock smell to it. But after this sits in my mouth for a minute, it's triggering my brain to make me think that it smells like my sunblock. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing I've said today. <laughs> I have never had a gummy like that. That is a, that's a first. <laughs> sticking in my teeth okay this next thing um i had a little boo-boo with this one earlier this is the sherbet fountain and it was literally a sherbet fountain when i tried to open it uh, i had it over here on the bed and i twisted it because it says twist to open and i twisted it and it wouldn't come off so i pulled it really hard and this white powder inside went everywhere all over my bed and all of a sudden it looked like a 80s rock star had been living in here so I had to bust out the vacuum cleaner and clean up <laughs> there, there was there was just white powder all over the bed it got on the floor it was over there it was like I had a really wild party last night now this is um what is this thing sherbet with a licorice dip now, full disclosure, I don't like licorice, like regular licorice. I don't like it. But I'm going to try this. You, it's a little thing, and you, you stick it down in this what's left of the powder. <laughs> uh, and you don't snort it. I think you just kind of... We have stuff like this here. You just kind of... Ooh, wow. Ooh. That's, um, that's an experience. It's like, what do we call it here? Fun dip? They have these little candy sticks and you dip them in this different flavored sugar. That will wake you up. So I guess you just, um, do like that and then when you're done with all the powder you eat the, the licorice. Mmm. Doesn't really taste like sherbet, but, uh, it's good. Just fine, sweet, somewhat flavored powdered sugar stuff. <laughs> it's not cocaine, thank God. Um, 
Okay, and then we have After 8 Mints, which we do have here, but I have never seen them in a little thing like this. You can get them in bags, like individually wrapped mints, but I've never seen them packaged this way. So you open it up, and it's dark chocolate, and the inside is a mint. See? Ours are shaped differently, too. They're, they're wider, but they're flatter. It's like they took this and just smushed it. the inside's different. It's runnier. Tastes like an after eight mint though. Maybe it just looks runnier because it's thicker and ours are squished there. Maybe I'm thinking of Andy's mints. Maybe I am. I mean we do have after eight mints here. I think I'm thinking of Andy's mints though. The mint stuff in there is different. It's it's solid. It's not it's not like that. Hmm. That's good dark chocolate. I don't normally like dark chocolate much. If I have chocolate on me, I'm sorry. I can't really see what I'm doing. Okay. So we've tried everything. The digestives, uh, the mini Scotty dogs, the rebels. Everything with this. We've tried the Wham, the Iron Brew, the Maltesers, the Kinder stuff, Ripples, the Toffee Crisp, Double, double Decker, the Snowball. I think all we have left is this big orange right here, and it is so heavy. It's made with real orange oil. Let me see if I can open it. And if I'm opening it wrong, you don't have to tell me. It's it's going to be okay. The sun will still rise in the morning. Let's see. I think I am opening it right because you take that sticker off and then you see it just opens. Opens up. Wow. That's a lot of segments. That's a lot of segments. Look at that. It's like a sunflower. Hello. I mean, I banged the crap out of this thing. Okay, it's coming apart. See, it's coming apart. We take it. Oh, it does look like, it looks just like an orange. It really does. And then somebody said leave the middle for, the, for last. Okay. It does look like a little orange segment. What kind of voodoo is that? I'm going to take a bite. You can taste the orange in it. Definitely. Oh, that's good. That's good. Mmm. Very good. It would take me forever to eat that. Eat like one segment a day. <laughs> eat that. That's a, I mean, look at all that. My goodness. If you've never seen one, which I haven't. That's a lot of segments in there. And you can smell the orange too. You can really smell it. Mmm. Mm. Wow. I'm now going to go curl up at a ball and wait for my diabetes to kick in. <laughs> Everything was good. That's some that's some interesting experiences, really. I like trying stuff from other places. Um, thank you so much to my awesome subscriber that sent this to me. This was wonderful. Um, yeah, it, it is interesting to try things from other places, and um, I even like reading in the comments where people argue with each other about the right the right way to eat something or. You know what how you pronounce this or that or you know or do you eat them with this or do you eat them with that or it's, it's just interesting to see all the how how weird we get about stuff um but thank you for coming and hanging out with me while i try all this this new stuff it's um it's good if i had to pick a favorite man that's tough i don't think i could pick a favorite honestly because i like them all but, you know, you might be in the mood for different things at different times. 
Um, I don't think I could pick a favorite. If I did, it would probably be these little things right here. These were yummy, and I am really glad we, that we don't have those here because I would be very tempted to eat those often. And if, you, if you're over 40 like me, you know, you cannot eat stuff like this very often. It will quickly come back to haunt you. Um, yeah, you wake up the next morning and all your clothes have shrunk. <laughs> so, but thank you so much for hanging out with me and trying this stuff. And, um, yeah, we'll do it again sometime. Although it's something, it's not something I can do very often. Like I said, it's just, it's just, I, I can't, you know, I, it's too fattening, but I love it. I really love it. And I really appreciate it. And I hope that you have a great day and I will see you again soon.